The Ethereum network, like any vehicle, requires gasoline to function properly. We call it a gas. With Ethereum gaining popularity, decentralized finance, or DeFi transactions, are becoming embraced. Unfortunately, due to the overcrowding of numerous dApps and individual users, these gas expenses continue to rise. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. The video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Trends. In today's video, we'll take a look at the 9 ways to reduce your Ethereum gas fees. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What are the fees for Ethereum gas and why are they so expensive? Gas fees are the costs associated with any transaction on the Ethereum network. The Ethereum blockchain process necessitates a certain level of computational effort, which is performed by cryptocurrency miners. To keep the Ethereum network running and secure, miners are rewarded with ETH, the Ethereum cryptocurrency, for their contributions to the network. Gas fees generate ETH coin payouts. GUE is the unit of measurement for gas fees, and 1 GUE equals 0.00000001 ETH. You can cut gas costs while also speeding up transaction processing by implementing the following 9 strategies. Number 9. Using simulation through DeFi Saver You won't be able to find out the true price of the gas until you've completed the transaction and paid for it. There is a Davy server app that allows for practice transactions. In order to get started, you first create an Ethereum recipe and then ensure that the recipe is always in use. You will earn the projected gas expenses in ETH as well as the maximum possible fees from the real-life simulation. After that, you have complete control over the recipe and can thoroughly alter it to lower the gas charges. Now, apply this recipe to the Ethereum network in order to reduce the amount of gas fees you pay. Number 8. Improve the timing of transactions Congestion is the primary cause of rising gas prices. The movement of transactions on Ethereum, on the other hand, varies throughout the day. Lower gas rates for the same transaction that previously cost you more ETH are possible. However, finding times like these can be difficult. This will also reduce your production because you will have to monitor gas prices at various times. So, go to the Ethereum Gas Charts webpage for a detailed graph of gas prices throughout the week. Another strategy is to avoid working hours on weekdays. Even if you need to send a transaction during the week, do so after midnight. You should avoid driving on weekends when gas prices are low. Number 7. Regulating Transaction Types Gas prices on the Ethereum blockchain are variable based on the type of transaction being carried out. As a result, you might want to consider organizing and carrying out transactions of a similar nature together in order to save money on gas expenses. Let's imagine you have two different Ethereum addresses, and each one of them contains 1,000 tokens. To improve your returns, you are thinking about storing all of the tokens in a fresh, decentralized application vault. To reduce the amount of money spent on gas fees, transfer all of the tokens to a single address, and then lock in 2,000 tokens in a single transaction. Number 6. Use dApps that offer discounts and lower gas fees. There are Ethereum projects and dApps that provide support for gas fees or gas costs that are cheaper than the market rate. Stabilizer is the name of one of these platforms. Provides reimbursements of up to 90% of your gas costs in the form of a BAL token. By allowing high-frequency traders to execute deals without leaving the vault, Balancer offers a significant reduction in the gas fees they incur. A few of the DeFi apps, including Watchman and Yearn v2, sellers, group the transactions of particular users together. Instead of making individual payments, each customer pays for the gas surcharges all at once as a group. The cost of gas is greatly reduced because of this method. Number 5. Use Gas Symbols You are eligible to get ETH in the form of reimbursements whenever you erase your storage variables from the Ethereum network. It serves as the foundation for gas tokens. When gas prices are low, you will have the ability to create a significant quantity of gas tokens. When you need to carry out your transaction on the network, redeem the gas tokens for ETH. Make use of the bonus ETH in place of the required gas cost. That's why many people are interested in GasToken.io because it gives them the ability to mint gas tokens. Number 4. Assess Network Congestion to Plan for the Future 
When there are too many transactions in the pipeline, your task may be pending. During this waiting period, the gas fee you agreed to has already been increased. When the miners begin to execute your transaction, you will fail because you specified a gas limit that is less than the current price. The most concerning aspect is that you will be charged a gas fee for an incomplete transaction. As a result, earlier preparation is essential for saving money on gas and avoiding penalties. Schedule your Ethereum transactions during off-peak times. Keep an eye on the Ethereum gas charts by time of day for time-sensitive transactions. View real-time gas prices based on your time zone. To avoid extra fines, estimate gas charges accurately and set the proper gas limit. Number 3. Use Accurate Ethereum Gas Fee Calculation It is possible that the gas fee estimations provided by your Ethereum wallet are not accurate since it does not take into account the congestion caused by real-time transactions. When dealing with transactions that are time-sensitive, it is recommended that you use specialized tools such as Etherscan Gas Tracker. This tool performs an analysis on the pending transactions that are taking place on the Ethereum mainnet. After that, they offer a number of different estimations for the time-sensitive gas charges. In the end, you won't find yourself paying more than you should or having to pay fines because you didn't adjust your gas limitations appropriately. Number 2. Discover Ethereum Layer 2 Because of the high volume of traffic, transactions on the Ethereum mainnet Layer 1 network are quite expensive. There are solutions for the second layer that assist users in scaling their transactions. On this network, Layer 2 makes use of technologies such as rollups as well as the movement of transactions to sidechains. As a result, the new procedure brings about a reduction in the cost of gas and a speedier conclusion to the transaction. Some of the second layer scaling solutions are Optimism, Arbitrum, and Polygon. Number 1. Use cryptocurrency wallets with enhanced fees or no fees. Using cryptocurrency wallets that don't charge transaction fees is yet another way to cut costs associated with financial dealings. FTX The FTX software is widely used for the exchange and selling of cryptocurrencies, as well as the tracking of wallets. Trading in cryptocurrencies doesn't cost you anything. In addition to this, there are no fees associated with making deposits. In addition to this, whenever you share the FTT code, you are eligible for free withdrawals. Dapper ETH With the Dapper Pass for CryptoKitties, this crypto wallet grants you access to gas fee-free transactions. To save money on gas prices for other dApps, consider purchasing Dapper Transaction Passes. Dapper transaction permits are accepted by dApps such as Cheese Wizards, Decentraland, Hypersnakes, and others. When you use Dapper Passes and Transaction Passes together, you can save more money on gas than normal users. Digivox Joining the waiting list will grant you a free pro account on this wallet, despite the fact that you will have to pay for gas. Furthermore, the platform is focusing on Ethereum Layer 2 solutions in order to provide trading and payment services without charging users any network fees. So, do you know of any other ways to avoid or reduce the cost of gas? If so, please let us know in the comment section down below. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.